Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Amira Hall. I am a spirit medium, channel, and quantum energy healer. I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition, and manifest a life you love. Today, I'm delighted to bring to you my channeled message for all the astrological signs for the month of December and beyond. So if you're listening to this, whenever you hear this, this is appropriate for you. Sometimes people are at different time schedules and or um, timelines. And so whenever you hear it, it's absolutely perfect for you because these energies that are coming in and are affecting us now are going to be rolling out for the next several months. So as I'm tuning in to the energies, it was quite a surprise today. As I was taking some notes and closed my eyes and sit in a meditative state, the first experience I had was that I was a coffee bean. <laughs> now that was really strange for me. But feeling like a coffee bean, I'm asking spirit, what does this feel like? This is the energies of what is coming in for us. I felt plump, I felt robust, I felt strong, I felt like I've had a lot of energy and it was enthusiasm and inspiration and, and, and time to take action. So I feel that this energy is all about that. The most important thing is that we're on the right track and on our right path, that we are inspired and we're able to take action in the right direction. This energy has real strength to it. It's bold and it's motivating energy. But at the same time, with that energy coming in and feeling so strong, I also felt that there was a lot of confusion or lack of clarity going on. You may be experiencing that yourself, feeling like it's time to take action, but you're not quite sure in which direction. Or maybe you're just taking action in any old direction, just because you're feeling this energy. And Spirit's reminding me that it's really important to stay grounded, to get clear, and to be centered. It's not to be just taking action for any old reason, but to have very specific intentions behind our actions. You know, they're cautioning us that um, there, there's a tendency at this time to be doing too much. And, and they ask uh, that we take stock. And maybe our list is overloaded. Maybe you need to take off some of those things on your busy list. And with so many things to do, it can be especially challenging because our thinking is can is or can be distorted or not clear. And so you may be thinking that something is the right direction and action to take. However, your thinking is a little fuzzy or distorted. And, and Spirit is saying, you know, focus on what you do want, not what you don't want. So if you're even a little bit unsure, it's better to take a pause and to reconsider it and to get a little bit more clarity or ask for more signs from your guides. Spirit is saying it's very important not to scatter your energy but to center your energy getting grounded being able to release at a deeper level of perhaps patterns or old ways of being and the ways of thinking that you have maybe kept you stuck or boom, scooting down the path you know I also got the sense that this energy is building almost like drinking a cup of coffee when you take your first sip of coffee it's doesn't have that kick or that reaction. It's one of those things that another sip and another sip and it builds, right? After you've had your cup of coffee, you're raring to go. And some of us, it, that whole cup of coffee could last us a day or two. <laughs> so that's the way this energy is building, they explained. And, and really be reminded, this is a time to be balanced, being clear, being focused, and focus what's in your heart of hearts. What is the truth of what it is that you really want? What activity supports you getting closer to having what you want in your heart? And Spirit is saying, you know, if your heart's not in something, skip it. And, and Spirit also had to say that, you know, there may be somebody in your midst that is pulling the wool over your eyes. So this is a very important time, again, to being grounded and clear and discerning. Like there may be some people that you need to X off your list or people that you might not want to socialize with or somebody that is trying to trick you in a certain way. So again, slowing down to be discerning and to check out what is perhaps their motive. 
In fact, you may have had to dig for the truth in some circumstances, and that truth is being revealed. Maybe, maybe it's on the news, maybe it's with a loved one, maybe it's within yourself that you have to dig for that truth. It, it is time for that truth to bubble up and to show itself to you. You know, what is that little voice inside of you been whispering or trying to get you to do? What is it that you've been ignoring? You know, as I look at this energy, some of you actually look, you know, punch drunk or dazed. You know, this distorted thinking that I'm seeing here is so fuzzy and un, um, well, it's definitely unmotivating. You know, whether it's a metaphor for something that you're not looking at or something that's distorted in your perspective, or whether it's actually a fact that you're just feeling like off your game and just sort of staggering around trying to find your way. You know, there, it, there's no question if your plate is too full, it's going to complicate how you see things. So it's important to take some things off your plate then or take them off your list if you need some downtime or some uh, time to be able to focus on what is really important for you. And then my guide showed me a picture of somebody using some building blocks like Legos. And then somebody just comes out of the shadows and just takes their arm and just wipes out all of what you've been building. So somebody here may not be for everybody, but some of you may be experiencing some discouragement or perhaps some setbacks, maybe all of what you thought you've been building for so long, maybe an institution or maybe an individual person or maybe a system has completely wiped out what you've been building or maybe even the way you've been thinking that is the right thing for you to go. So a lot of you are being pushed into a direction of rebuilding yourself or rebuilding a career or taking a whole new uh, step in a whole new direction that just feels maybe like an outside energy or force has, you know, derailed you for, for a temporary moment. Again, you know, this is a time of clearing um, patterns and beliefs and aspects to yourself that will reveal the new you because I feel like there's this whole new version of you that wants to be birthed. And you're learning as much as the world around you who this might be. So many of you are just not sure who that you is because it's been buried for so long under a, a mountain of, of disproportionate beliefs and ideals and somebody else's programming. So, you know, I feel like I'm a bit of a broken record because these energies have been building and some of you are a little bit ahead of this already, but maybe have can see yourself definitely rebuilding. Others of you are still dismantling some old structures within yourself and around you. Um, so this energy, like the caffeine, is building and building and pushing us and nudging us so that we let go of even more of these beliefs and ideals and perceptions that have been limiting us. So if you don't know what's next for you and you need a clearing and if you're feeling like your whole world is being turned inside out or upside down, there's a link below in the description box where you can connect with me and have a clearing session. You know, I can't emphasize enough how much different your world and how your perception is going to shift when you don't have these filters that are blocking you or blinders on that you can't see what's next or a filter above your heart that's just not letting you access that truth within you and who you really are that wants to be expressed because that's desperately trying to be kicked out of you. <laughs> so, you know, uh, in, in, in taking a deeper look, I asked Spirit to show me which of my soul wisdom cards would be appropriate for today. And here's the card they gave me. And this card is fascinating, you know, because as I look at this, you know, an old version of yourself, is it coming or going? You know, I see this man here reading a book. So as we go deeper within ourselves, what is it that we're trying to discover or read or learn about ourselves and perhaps the world around us? But I think it's an introspective time of going deeper. You know, this old truck or car that's, you know, on suspended on the clouds or on the horizon, it's like we're taking new directions. Our spirit wants to lift off and be carried into a whole new realm. And perhaps for some of you, it is that spiritual realm that wants to, you know, a deeper connection to. 
I see these megalithic structures here, you know, these statues, I think they're from Easter Island. You know, there's old versions of ourselves that have been sort of weathered away, um, but there's some, they're very, very strong, and they're also a real strong sense of grounding here, and a presence, a, a presence of being centered, you know, so and it's also telling me that um, as much as parts of us are, are being eroded, there's a new version of ourself with this top hat here we're stepping out and and in in pride and acknowledging you know that crown chakra that part of ourself connecting to spirit and bringing that in into fuller fruition you know on one of the megaliths on the left i see this star with this gemstone in the heart section you know our heart wants to radiate and express all of what it is and that's that passion that inner version of yourself that wants to be fulfilled and aligned I see this, um, you know, Swiss Army knife here. There's parts of us that are being cut away and there's parts of our lives that are being cut out and we are being, you know, um, given this tool to cut away what's not appropriate for us in, in ways that, so that we can be supported and, and allow that to come in. I love this tomato in the center. You know, what I'm drawn to is that star-like shape of the stem at the center of the tomato. You know, there again, the star within, the light within wants to be right front and center and to be expressed fully and radiant. And I asked Spirit to show me one of my paintings that would best or help us understand their message for us. And the painting I was uh, guided to was called Awakening. Funny, huh? And uh, this painting was so interesting to me. You know, honestly, I didn't really like it when I painted it. And you know th there's a different heart connection that i have with different paintings and in this one it, it it just seemed blurry you know all of these sort of blurry blobs and movement yes it feels movement but it also seems distorted and i'm getting that spirits trying to tell us you know these distortions of our thoughts or our beliefs they want clarity they want a sharp edge you know we see the um 3d appearance in this painting and i i'm drawn to the straight lines and I'm drawn to the shadow and I'm also drawn to the bubbles you know this freshness that's sort of on the surface of things and that what you know I'm tempted to pop the bubbles so getting clarity having def definition having a grounded presence even if things are distorted and unclear by focusing and being present we can bring them into clarity just like the bubbles seem to come to the surface and then be released you know the importance here is to keep our energy flowing to focus on um, what we do want not what we don't want and to recognize that even the distortions in our lives, the things that want to become clear or defined are there for a reason and they too have their purpose. So acknowledging where you're at and being okay with that, not trying to fight it because in that distortion comes the clarity. If you allow it to release and flow away from you, it will too be clear you know, overall, there's a sense of gentleness. The other thing I get a sense of, even if there's an obstacle in our path, you know, there's a way around it. The energy seems to flow around the, the, um, the blobs, but there's a sense of freshness and a, and a, and a rebirth that's just associated with this out of confusion comes clarity. So I'm going to leave that with you to ponder that perhaps you see something in the painting that i haven't acknowledged right now um, but it's always good to hear your comments and how you are feeling these days what's been going on in your world i'm here to help you um, get some sense of clarity and to be more certain on the path you're taking to know definitively who you are and to make the most of it and it we couldn't be at a more powerful time in not only astrologically energetically on the planet because we're coming into a new year as well but next year is really promising to be a real exciting year I feel like there's just going to be some I feel like a garden that's going to explode with blossoms and that is really really exciting for me so if 
nothing else resonates with you, take the time to sit and contemplate and ponder what's not been working and start releasing it um, at a deeper way. You know, the quantum energy tools, I can't help saying that they are profoundly instrumental in helping me stay clear and staying in the flow. So with that being said, my message to you today for this month of December is to stay in the flow and embrace this new awakening for you. And if you'd like to check out more of my art, go ahead and click the link in the description box. There's information on my art and you can take a close up at them. I'm getting ready for another art show next two, two of them next week. And, and then one the following week. So I'm pretty busy with all this exciting discoveries that I'm having with my art. So until next time for my channeled message, I'll look forward to speaking to you if you're ready for your session. And don't forget, if this video resonates with you, go ahead and give it a, a thumbs up because YouTube will show the video to more people. And if you've not been subscribed, subscribe, hit the bell. If you already thought you were, recheck that because YouTube is making a lot of changes. So with that all said, I'll talk to you real soon for my next video update. Many blessings and have a magical month of December. I've been noticing really over since the class began and as each week goes by, it gets better and better. Like um, if people would, anyone around me, it could be family, my kids, I mean, just pretty much anybody. Um, if a situation would come up and it would really affect me like on the inside or, you know, I'd be thinking about it during the day or felt like I had to do X, Y, and Z because I, I should be doing, <laughs> the, you know, X, Y, and Z to where I allowed all that to interfere with my day. Um, and distract me from my day. And now I don't do that. I put myself first and I just use the tools and <laughs> just use all your tools. And it's like, wow, I can go about my day peacefully and do what I need to do and take care of me and still send them love. And then when I have the time, I can give them some of my time or dress it. Or maybe I don't, maybe it's not my highest good, you know, to talk to them that day or whatever, communicate. And so what I've noticed my um i'm hearing you know my intuition tell me you know who what i should and shouldn't do where i should and shouldn't be um you know where who i should speak with or who who i should and shouldn't communicate with or maybe it's not the right time maybe another day and so it's really helped me to to be more productive in my day to feel more peaceful more calm more grounded and um, to show, you know, to show self-love that I'm putting myself first and not that without the guilt, you know, that I'm not doing anything wrong or blowing anybody off. Um, so it's just really a nice feeling to feel like you've taken your power back and your energy back. And um, so just thank you for your tools. It's really, it really works. <laughs>